Hello everybody, this is Kyrox with more Let's Play the Metal Gear Saga, uh, part one, Metal Gear Saga, Metal Gear Solid 3. Why am I so laggy? Give me a second here. That is a fantastic reason why I am so laggy. Let's open this up real quick. Sorry about this, and sorry about the delay. Uh, if you want to know why I'm so late this time, check this week's This Week in Kyrick, the Wednesday, April 13th episode. It will, uh, inadequately explain why I'm so damn late. I'm trying to see, trying, isn't it? Sorry for the screen flicker, there's really not much I can do about it right now. I was just about to say, oh, they're not doing it again. Yes, I purposely saved there just so I could do this again. So it will sing if I stop. I do not even remember how to play. I think I do, but I don't. Anyway, I've got to grind out several episodes. Maybe finish this today? I don't know. Let's be honest, I should have finished this a fucking month ago. I really should have. Get off my ass and finish this off. And I'm going to feel particularly testy because where I'm recording, I'm on the floor right now because I didn't want to kick the cat out of my table and my chair because they were occupying them. So I'm on the floor, which puts me really close to the fan, which I can't have on because I'm so close to it, it picks up on the mic. And that uh, is making me overheat extremely quickly. It's not so much that I'm overheating, it's that I'm so used to having the fan on that I feel like I'm overheating, and that's just as bad, really. Okay, let me, uh... That's what I thought. Okay. This part I do remember. I think I'm getting fairly close. I'm probably about two-thirds of the way through the game now. I think there's just one more, uh... Are they call it snake hound bosses? No, that's something else. Never mind. One of uh, one more of the bosses' bosses. Well, technically two, not counting the Joy herself. Oh, that's right. This is the thing, isn't it? What's in here again? So that is incorrect. I want the green goggles. Thank you very much. Plus, uh, there are a couple other. Let's call the miscellaneous bosses still to come. Oh, let's not mince words. I still gotta fight Volgan and the Shagohan as well. Mr. Rocketeer. Let's uh, take care of that little radio on you there. Oh, crap. Um, well, I guess I don't have to worry about that radio then. Okay, there's a, a thing here. If you, uh, if you kill a soldier, vultures will come down and eat him. And if you kill the vultures and eat them, there's a scene later where you'll basically be confronted by the ghosts of everyone you've ever killed in the game. And that guy will be like, you ate me! And he's got a vulture attacking him. It's kind of funny, actually. In a very, very dark way. Oh, that was pointless of me. Okay. What have we got? Um, no. There we go. Perfect. 
See, I'm not even slightly concerned because my camo pretty much protects me from being spotted by damn near anything, to be honest. So. But then again, this is just showing off the game's story, such as it is. There's the hind. There's the guy I was referring to earlier about the, um, vulture. There go. Saw it a minute ago. Shoot. Sure, let's explore the cave. Not that there's going to be anything in here I really care about, but let's explore it anyway. Player to Schneid. Where's the hind? I don't know if the hind will see me with my camo being the way it is, but why chance it? Have I still got that fucking dart sticking out of me? Yes, I do. God damn the fear. Oh look, bird. Hello, bird. Good night, bird. Shoot. I hear it. Oh, I see it too. Can't see me, camouflaged. I could technically try and shoot that down, but why bother? really not even worth the effort. If I had on this playthrough found my uh, goodies, I could have just blown that up and they'd have the little sci-fi scooters instead, which is still pretty damn cool, let's face facts. Did I just shoot his radio out from the hip? Who knew my accuracy was so dead on? Naturally, if you get spotted, that hind becomes troublesome. But that's what these little anti-aircraft guns are for. Oops, wrong button. goodies. Naturally, if I blow this up, they'll be hungry. And if I blow up their ammo, they'll run out of bullets. They'll have like one clip and then they can't reload. Oh, there it is. Now I can destroy the hind if I'm so... What's the word? Inclined. Yeah, fuck aiming manually. This thing drops. I'm like a sack of bricks. Which is always useful. I just hope I can still get a couple more weeks of play out of this. Because that would be really nice. Who said that? Oh, I see him. Where the hell did I shoot that guy? It's not the enemy. You're hallucinating. There's no enemy here. This enemy, as you call him, is complete fiction. A figment of your overworked imaginations. You're just sleep to bribe. There's no enemy. I mean, after all, if you weren't sleep to bribe, why would you fall asleep right there on the job? Where am I going? 
feel like I'm playing Medal of Honor traveling through these damn trenches. That, of course, is the original Medal of Honor for the PlayStation. Do, 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 do. I don't know where I'm going. There we go. That looks about right. <sighs> Incidentally, while this is going on, uh, to my left on the TV, while muted, is Fortune Street playing itself, unlocking more levels. be fine. It's just that playing these two roles hasn't left me much time to sleep. Where'd you get those cuts? The colonel. He found out? If no, he's he knew just I'd sick. Be dead already. No, this is his hobby. He's a sadist. He gets pleasure out of making people suffer. He's scum. <laughs> Does it look that strange to you? No, I'm the same way. Scars all over. Ever tried to bathe a cat? No. <laughs> Where'd you get this one? I got it after defecting to the Soviet Union. I don't think so. It's older than that. Code breaking is a desk job. Where'd you get this kind of scar? You really want to know? Hmm. Again, you ever bathe a cat? <laughs> A girl's got to have some secrets, you know. But enough about that. You've got to get going. The phase two trial of the Shagglehot is about to start. And it looks Such like someone might be coming to spoil the party. Khrushchev. Sounds like something from an Austin Powers His forces movie. are on their way here. The colonel is gathering his troops together to meet them. If we don't get a move on, the security will be even tighter than it is now. You'll need this key. It unlocks the door to the underground tunnel. Once you're in there, you can follow the tunnel to get inside Groznygrad. And take this, too. What is it? The food of the future. A well-balanced meal for the space age. <laughs> it's good to eat some real food once in a while. I could go for some ramen right now. I might have some after this episode. Mm. I'll bet if I kissed you... You taste like a wild beast. I mean, I made some macaroni and tuna, but I saved it for the roommates so they have something to take to work in the morning. Do you know where exactly in Groznygrad Sokolov is located? He's in the heart of the fortress, the weapons lab. The weapons lab is divided into three wings. Oh, that's another thing. There's I almost said he's in the shark tank. I, I, I got to watch Tiger Sharks, which is a show that I haven't seen since I was a pretty child that's in the kindergarten. Shot or something along those lines. Finally, there's the West Wing, which is connected via a passageway to the was main building. was awesome seeing that cheesy That's show where again. Sokolov is. To get in, you'll have to enter the main wing from the East Wing. Then, go through the passageway on the second floor of the main wing. The West Wing of the Weapons Lab. Got it. There's just one problem. The West Wing of the Weapons again. Lab. The West Wing is protected by the highest level of security. You need to be Colonel Class to get in. No, you mean the rank of colonel? Here, look at this picture. Major Ivan Rydenovich Rykov. Pretend you're him. How do I do that? Bitch. Steal his clothes. You look similar from behind. They won't know the difference. Your face might be a problem, so you just have to figure something out. He should be somewhere in the East Wing. The best part is, people who have no idea about Metal Gear are going to wonder who this guy is and why he's so big a deal, but those of us who've actually played it know exactly why this is a big deal. This is before right. writing was quote-unquote cool. But how am I supposed to escape once I get Sokolov out of there? Command said you're supposed to have something ready for me. 
And I do. There's a lake 30 miles north of here. That being said, at this there. point, honestly, who hasn't Vague. been at least it's vaguely familiar with Metal Gear? Ground effect vehicle. A ground effect vehicle? I can't fly one of those. That's okay. I happen to be an excellent pilot. Taking off from a lake is trickier than it looks. It's not like riding a motorcycle. You've got to be more delicate. Of course I will. You've seen how good I am with the bike, right? <laughs> right. You handle the escape then. I'll head for Groznygrad. Wait a minute. There's something I wanted to ask you. What? What's the story between you and the boss? She what happened like in Vegas stays in Vegas. And my master. And your lover? It went deeper than that. Deeper? Half of me belongs to the boss. Do you love her? Again, the, the whole boss no, worship, like I, I just, her? no, it just doesn't work for me. Does it have to be one or the other? I can really understand from a hate. Japanese point of view why she would be such a, a, a an boy? admirable character, but as an American, it just doesn't work. You bet. For ten years, we lived and died together. You couldn't possibly understand. And you think you can kill her now? <sighs> That's your mission, isn't it? Assassinating the boss? Yeah, the fight with the boss is not going to be a fun fight. Snake, is there anyone you like? Someone special? I've never been interested in other people's lives. Where is this cardboard box? You were interested in the boss. She was different. Really? How do you feel about me? I should be asking you the same question. Me? I can fall in love if it's part of the mission. Even with you. Snake? <clears throat> Snake with his little Cold War Bluetooth. <laughs> so much cutscene. What are you up to, silly white thing? Hey, Willow. See you around, Snake. Take care of yourself. What about you? I've got to hurry back and play my other part. Are you going to be okay? Not sure. They're not stupid, and they know there's a spy. There's no way you could have gotten this far all by yourself. That woman is insane. Anyway. Not just playing Street Fighter. <laughs> there's actually, obviously, now you can tell there's someone in there. It's our old buddy with the nice shoes. Oh, he's 
definitely dead now. The way he's landed on his neck. Did he talk? No. He died before I could get it out of him. For some reason, I always managed to miss who that was. Was it the spy then? Look at this. A transmitter? Exactly. Planted to keep someone informed of his location. <laughs> Does this mean Granin was the spy? Perhaps he was being used by someone else. Perhaps. This man was our comrade. Comrade or not, he's of no use to us now. Well, yeah, he's dead. I don't approve of your methods. I don't need your approval. I'm in command here. He's got a point. It's one of the perks of being the boss. And that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you going to do? Report it to the authorities? This is war, Major. A cold war. Fought with information and espionage. And occasionally nuke tanks. We must root out spies wherever they hide. It is kill or be killed. Potential threats must be weeded out. Your feelings are a menace to the unity of our organization. Someone is guiding the enemy's hand. A single man can only accomplish so much. Make no mistake, there is a spy among us. But casting suspicion on our own comrades. The C-3 explosives have been stolen. You think it was the American? No. He could not have reached this fortress yet. I'm within sight of it. Does that count? Who? I'd be careful about suspecting your own men. Boss! Where have you been? The fear and the end have fallen. <laughs> CIA dog? That leaves only the fury. Yep. How can the legendary Cobras be beaten so easily? Cobra unit, that's what they were called. He's good. Fallen for him? As a matter of fact, he has. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. What is he after? Must be more than just Sokolov. America is out to destroy the Shagohod and get its hands on your inheritance. The Philosopher's Legacy. <laughs> Impossible. The Legacy, it... Then they're out to kill me as well. Colonel, tighten the security on this place. He's coming here. I'm sure of it. Yeah, let's get the cutscene. I'm going to get the Davy Crockett. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just clicking stuff to get ready. <laughs> nice boots. What is it with everyone in footwear in this game? Seriously. Make sure you polish them up properly. He is a weird, weird man. And he's only going to get weirder. Because again, people who know anything about Metal Gear know what Ocelot's like. Matter of fact, he gets downright goofy in the later games. Still dangerous, but very goofy. 
Uh, you know what? We're close enough. We're going to call it here. See you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.